Okay, so I'm going to go into the uh, theme here and I'm going to show you some <clears throat> some examples of how you can utilize the child theme to make some changes. Now, I'm not going to go into too much in depth here because I went through a series of how to do this in issue 6, 7 and 8 where, we, where I went into custom theme editing and I changed a number of features. So I won't go into that in, in depth because I've already covered that in the previous issues but I will just go through one of it one of those um, methods now just to illustrate how the child theme works and how we can in fact add the uh, the changes to the styles in the style sheet here so first of all you will need a browser that has some developer tools built into it uh, previously when I showed you how to do this in issue six, seven, and eight, how to manipulate and change the theme, um, the themes settings. I was using Firefox with the plugin called Firebug. Currently, what I'm using now is Chrome browser, and I'm using the developer tools built into that. And if we go over here, you'll see I've got a drop-down menu here, and I can go to my tools and I'm going down to the developer tools here. It works essentially the same as as what Fire Firebug did. Uh, you can go into the different elements for example and uh, I can say I want to inspect that element and what it's doing here is giving me all that information um, from the style sheet over here in the right hand column. So I just wanted to let you know in order to be able to do this you will need well, you don't have to have this, it just makes it a little bit trickier because you've got to go through the style sheet and try and find the elements that in fact match the section of the site you're trying to edit. Whereas with these tools, you quite simply roll your mouse over it. For example, um, let's say I wanted to have a look at this image here. And I can right, right mouse click on that image and go quite simply inspect that element. This will automatically... this developer tool will automatically jump to it and bring up the information related to that right there. So before I go and do that what I want to do is I want to add a header image in here. So within the theme itself it has a function where you can do that and I'll, I'm going to show you how to do that and then I'm going to show you how we edit it. So I'm going to go into the header here and within the theme, it gives me the option to add a header image and it gives me the option to show header text. So what I'm going to do is choose an image from the image library and I'm going to choose that and I'm going to use that as the header and crop and publish. Now by rights, when I refresh this, that header image should be displaying. So what I want to do is I want to... Um, change a few things here. I wanted to change the header so that that's up the top here and I want the menu to be underneath the header. Okay, so in order to do that I will need to edit the section of of WordPress installation here of the, of the framework that relates to the header area and the piece of the section of that theme that that we'd need to be editing is the header.php. Now I don't want to edit it directly within the parent theme because I've just created a child theme. So the way I would do that is by copying this here and I'll do that and then I would paste that into the child theme. Okay, and so now I have my header PHP within the child theme here. So what I would do is then go in and edit this particular theme. But first of all, I need to know whereabouts in this particular file that I need to go to make the changes so that I can flip this stuff around. So what I do is roll my mouse over the header here, the header image. I'm right mouse clicking. I'm going down to expect element. And what it's doing here, it's bringing me up the information uh, about 
that particular image. Now, what it's telling me here is that's the image there. It's a header image, so I know it's within the header. And any st styles that are related to that header image are indicated over here. So first of all, what I need to do is essentially manipulate the positioning of this um, this header image. And I'll have to go to the header PHP to do that. So let's go and do that right now. I'm going to open this with Text Wrangler. And there we have the header document with all this code. It looks pretty confusing. But when you actually look into it, if, you, if we just break it down a little bit here, if we look at to the header area, it's got some HTML there within this document. That's the head of this page. And then it goes down into the body section. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the title. And I can see it says title here, the masthead. So header ID masthead. I've got my site header. So this is where I want to be. And what I want to do is we've got the title, I've got a description, and then down here I've got my site navigation with navigation there, and I've got my theme location and header image is just here. So what I want to do is flip that stuff around so that the header image, which is saying here get header image, um, I want that to be in a different location. So what I would do is I would cut this out of here. And I want it to be above here. So I would just go return and I would control V and paste it into there. If I save that, by rights, if we flick back into this page here, and if I change that around, there you have it. So what it's done is it's quite, it's just flipped that up to the top there, and it has now the WordPress title underneath it, and then the, the nav bar there. Okay. Now, if I want to make that disappear here, I should be able to do that within here. So header text, I don't want to show header text. If I save those changes, let's see what happens. So it's gone and moved that away. Okay, so all I did was just relocate a piece of code, which is this here. Because when it writes PHP, when the browser reads PHP, it reads it from the top down. And it's also positioning it. The position is also important because it's embodied within, within HTML. Not that we need to go into that at this stage, but I'm just showing you the order. Okay, so the order of it is that's the header bit there. Then this is the title. And you'll see that's the title bit there. And I've deactivated that now so the theme is not displaying the site title or the site description and then below that was the navigation which this part is related to this menu here okay that's the piece of code here and um, I think it yep yeah, so that's where that is there so that's all done. If I wanted to uh, make any changes, say I wanted that above the site title, I would simply cut that out and paste it above this um, these tags here. Okay, so that's the first uh, little change that I've made, and I made that to the header PHP file, which is one of the template files. And that is the copy of that is residing in the child theme folder. This particular header document here. Now, if I didn't want to, if I wanted to, I'll go, oh my god, I've made some horrible changes here. Um, how do I go back to the way it was originally? Well, quite simply, I could take this, um, move it to trash, okay, go back into this theme here, just refresh it. 
and what you'll see is that's gone back to normal the way it was and if I want that title to appear again quite simply turn that on save changes refresh and it's back to normal okay no damage done so that's the power of a child theme I'll leave this video here and in the next one I'll get into changing some actual styles in the style sheet